I'm so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation. See me making moves and all this training proof so that I'm possible. Hey guys, this is Michael Lancaster and welcome to the MLXT YouTube channel. We're going to be continuing focusing on beginners and today I'm going to be looking at the topic of balance and we're going to work on balance in our jabs and our pivots by using a cone and what we're going to do is we're going to slide the cone on the floor with our feet. Now what makes this different, what makes this important for beginners is the overall balance component. Some people get stuck in the fact that we're moving a cone around with our feet and get lost in that, but why are we doing that is really the key. So before we jump into the teaching points, let's go ahead and start looking at this topic. For cone slide middle jab, this is one of the things that we do that does require a rib cone simply because it slides. So this is tough to replace without having a rib cone, but the most important thing is that you capture principles. Now we're not going to be doing jabs the way we want players to do jabs, because typically a jab, especially a side jab, is aggressive. Right now we're testing balance. And so if I have the ability to slide this cone to my left and I was doing a jab, me by sliding it through the grip, what did I just showcase? I showcased my ability to be balanced and really complete the movement. See when a lot of kids do jabs they just barely move their feet or they just put their foot out. And so if your body doesn't move with the jab and you just put your foot out, you're probably going to kick the cone over. And that's what a lot of players do with their jabs when they're young. We want to make sure that when we do a jab, that we have the ability to control the whole body when you do it. And so if I was jabbing, I would have the ability to move my body with my foot. And if I can do that, the cone will stay up. Now this is one of those things that can be extremely challenging even for high level players. We do it a little bit at a higher level, but I've even had NBA players who struggle with this. And that's the beauty of training kids is we can do a lot of the same things that we would do with our high level players. It's just that kids are going to have more uh, challenge along the way, but also less habits. And so we can start getting to things a whole lot quicker. And so just focus on being slow and controlled. Now with young players, a common problem with jabs is that they move the feet, but not their body. And so in many ways, their feet are just random because they're looking at a jab as a task or a drill take my foot, get it from point A to point B. So as long as the foot moves to that spot, they feel like they're accomplishing something. But with a cone, if I have to move it, I can't do that. If all I do is put my foot out and hit the cone, I'm inevitably going to kick the cone over. Because what I want to be able to do is encourage players to tap into actual control. So even though a jab is aggressive, if I'm able to move the cone to the side, for instance, with a side jab, and I'm able to slide the cone over, what I've now actually exhibited is my ability to move foot with my body and with control. That's another aspect of jabs, is I don't want to just move my foot and fall. I want to be able to control the jab. Even though it all happens quick and aggressive with young players, we'll tap into how much control they actually have of their body. Do they have balance? Do they have core? And so by moving a cone, you're not teaching them to move cones with their feet in the game. You're teaching their bodies the ability to have poise and control. And then as they get older, you start giving them all those other abilities along the way, ball movement and body movement. But right now, let's just focus on balance. That's really the key here. I'm going to focus on sliding that cone to the left, not falling over. And then when I come back, I've created some space from it. Now all I want you to do, the ball's in my right hand, we're just simply going to slide over and go get it and come back. Then I would set myself up and repeat. So nothing fancy about what we do after we slide, just focus on how far away we can make that cone go without it falling over. This can be a fun challenge for kids. So I control my right leg, I go to the grip, I slide that cone, I come back, I slide to get it, and I return it and set back up. So all about your balance and control. Because over time, that ability will play into your ability to jab with feet and body later on. Now if I'm going the other way, obviously now it's your right foot that's doing that slide. The left leg has to control. I slide through the grip. I come back. I slide to get the cone and put that on repeat. Every single time you're focused on not letting yourself fall and you're seeing just how far you can push that cone. The more you can push it without it falling over, the more control 
you're showcasing with your body. And that wraps up another look at kids, how to train beginners. And this one we focused on balance with moving a cone with our feet. Now, if you don't have a cone like this, find some way to hold yourself accountable. But if you can, invest in this because this cone slides and moves and teaches a player control. So you can learn it without it. It's not really about this being the only way you can learn balance. But with kids, it's very difficult at times for them to feel what's happening with their body. You can show them a jab and they think they're getting it, but all that's really happening is their feet. And so when you can give kids and beginners ways where they really know that they're doing it correct, if I was jabbing towards the middle and I can slide that cone smoothly, now they know that they had control over their body because the cone told them what was occurring. And so that's what we call forced accountability and that's just one example of it. And so if you have the opportunity to have a rip cone, or have a cone that can slide and move, that's a great way to start teaching players how to pivot and jab with both feet and start learning how to body control in the process. If you like this content and you want to see more, we'll of course be here every single week right at this same time. Make sure you go ahead and like. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Leave a comment in the comment section. We'll do our best to engage with you. And of course, make sure you are subscribed because we will continue to bring you this great content each and every week on the MLXT YouTube channel.